There's a lot of reasons why it's really important and really helpful for farming to understand what your soil texture is. Um, one of the major things is so that you can understand what sort of um, crops will grow really well in your soil. Um, because a sand will grow one type of crop well and a clay or a loam will grow another type of, type of crop quite well. If you um, have got large bits of gravel in your soil that will affect some crops as well. So it really is helpful for you to understand what the texture is. Just when you pick up the soil or you dig up the soil you've got all those sort of funny lumpy bits and sometimes they're not so easy to texture. So what I'm going to do is sieve that soil first. So I'll just break all those little bits up in the sieve. So what I'm just going to do is get a whole handful of this and add some water a little bit at a time. So just squirt some water on there and gradually add the water. Don't sort of rush in there all at once because what you want to do is make a little ball in your hand with just enough water so that that ball holds together. If you make it too sloppy it's too hard to tell what the texture is. So you just mix that all around just to make sure that holds together as well as it can. And what you're doing while you're doing this is feeling what's happening with those grains. You're measuring those grains, the sizes of the grains in your hand. Now I can feel that there's a lot of really individual little sand grains in there. So, and this ball of soil isn't holding together very well. I think it'd fall apart really easily if I let it. So what I'm going to do now is to see how well it holds together by making a ribbon with the soil. So make it kind of into a bit of a sausage shape and then squeeze it between your forefinger and your thumb into your other hand and just see how well it holds together in a ribbon. And it's not making much of a ribbon, then it's a sand. Alright, the next texture group after sand is, um, it's called silt or some people call it loam. Now the particle sizes that you're measuring here are a lot finer than what you've just been uh, looking at with sand. You can still just feel it but they often feel much silkier and much smoother than sand. You'll find that the ribbon's a lot longer than the sand was able to achieve. It holds together much better than the sand. Sands will not have very good water or nutrient holding capacity whereas a silt will have a much better water and nutrient holding capacity. This is another loamy soil. I can feel that it's much more silky and with these soils because there's, they're a little bit heavier I tend to play with it in my hand for a little bit longer because as I said sometimes the, the texture starts to feel stronger and stronger but because there is a, a lot more clay in this soil we would probably call this a clay loam. So now we have a bit of a lump of heavier soil going to texture and sometimes it's very hard to sieve especially if it's a bit dry and again this one feels really quite soapy and silky which tells me it's got a lot of clay really 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 fine particles in it. A bit sticky again, tells you it's got clay, a lot of clay in it and what also tells you it's clay is that it gets much harder to manipulate in your hand and particularly if you think it is clay it is worth moving it in your hand for a little bit longer as I said just to make sure all those clay particles are released into the ball and you get a much clearer idea of how heavy the clay is. A lot of people think clay soils are fabulous, but they're not always so easy to manage. Sometimes there's a big problem with um, poor drainage in clay soils and you might have water logging. Crops can sometimes have difficulty accessing the water and the nutrients that's bound up in those soils. So they need very careful management also.